We were talking about getting cupcakes for one of our meetings to eat while we were organizing events. With event. purely selfish Self. intentions. Yes, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> meant to be this, but then it kind of snowballed into Tom, our GHR, telling us about how he went to college with Dana, who ended up winning Cake Boss. We wanted to come up with a big idea to, of something to do for the year, and so I recommended, I'm like, I know a guy who does cakes, he's a pastry chef. And I showed them his website, and I'm like, oh my gosh, these cakes are so cool. Um, and then right after that, he got on the Learning Channel's uh, Next Great Baker and won. Yes, I am the grand prize winner of uh, TLC's Cake Boss, the Next Great Baker. So, like, initially you were like, oh, like, Dana, like, let's get him to make some free cakes and just send it to us. And <laughs> it kind of turned into, let's have Dana come up to Rochester for a few days and hold a campus-wide demonstration, so. Yeah. I'm doing a, uh, a display cake of the uh, Rush Reese Library. I feel like it's just an iconic U of R yeah. building. I think everyone has a special relationship with that building. Yeah, so. a love-hate relationship, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> My, my choice of cakes, my favorite, it would be like red velvet, All right. mandarin orange, um, lavender. Do you have any of those flavors today? Uh, we're going to put our windows on the front. Just like that. Easy, I love edible markers. Is there a, they're a little bit easier than painting and you have a little bit more control. Chef Dana works really hard at what he does and I think it's great because it also draws a diverse audience of children, older, you know, senior citizens, middle-aged, college-age students together to kind of um, have food, which is always great, but um, just see his design and technique and how that works. And I was really worried that, you know, we wouldn't get as good of a turnout as what we did because we are a small group and it's really, really hard getting college students to come out to things like this, especially this time of year. And so uh, seeing the room this full is really exciting. Definitely. This is the University of Rochester.